so I was wondering perhaps you could touch on perhaps what the incentive is for employers in the informal sector for their workers to have work permits when of course they're benefiting in a way from, from the illegal markets. Um, so yeah, I'd like to turn that over to you. I'd just like to say we only have um, four minutes left of this panel <laughs> session, so um, if you could keep your remarks as sick, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, four minutes, <laughs> just enough for condolences, just enough for and condemnation uh, for uh, today in Idlib uh, happening. Uh, actually, I, uh, as the president of Turkish Red Crescent and the board member of the IFRC, strongly condemn uh, this, uh, this morning brutal and heinous uh, attack uh, carried out uh, in rural Idlib and this chemical attack uh, has been massacred over 100 people, innocent people. Uh, 30 of them uh, also took our, by, uh, our staffs in the border, uh, and uh, all of them in our hospitals, intensive care units. Uh, this happens also brought to in my mind a statement uh, which I'm mean, endowed by the president of MSF during the Nobel Prize lecture in 1999. He said, we are not sure that the world can always save lives, but we know that silence certainly kills. Really, we are, we are talking, we are working, but the innocent people are killing in their own countries by their own soldiers, by their own forces. Actually, we, we are within the sixth year of crisis. The Turkish Red Crescent, uh, we are hosting over three million refugees. We have over than 20, 100,000 new ba newborn babies in Turkey. So, 80% of our guests from women and children. And I believe that, uh, according, it is not the evidence-based survey, uh, survey, but uh, according to our, I mean, the field uh, monitoring, among the manpower of the Syrian guests in Turkey, unemployment rate less than the Turkish citizens. Especially in culture, in the textile sector, in the industrial sectors, uh, informal uh, recruitment is very common. And uh, I believe that the, especially the Syrian uh, workers have very advanced skills for some uh, jobs. For example, textile, Aleppo citizens have very advanced skills for textiles. Or agriculture from rural in the rural Latakia regions. They are all these the, the, uh, agricultural fields. So uh, for them, it is easy to find a, uh, let's say, flexible uh, job opportunity in Turkey. So uh, what we are doing now, even informally, we are providing cash voucher program in collaboration with the European Commission and the WFP. Uh, by the end of June, uh, this social safety net program will be reached uh, 1,140,000 beneficiaries. It means that the basic, the basic uh, 100 Turkish lira, uh, around 30 US dollar per capita, so this contribution providing themselves essential uh, the, uh, life conditions. Besides that, the Turkish government, even, even uh, the illegally or not illegally, I mean the uh, de facto health insurance to the all Syrian refugees. Syrian refugees, Syrian guests has more rights than the Turkish citizens in the uh, health sector in Turkey. There is no barrier, there is no language barrier, there is no access barrier to them. 
more than 20 million examination to the Syrian refugees, over 1 million mid-size and the big-size surgical operations performed for the Syrian refugees in Turkey, and over 200,000 delivery in, in our hospitals. We have, as Turkish Red Crescent, eight community centers. Now we will extend these uh, centers uh, to 20 provinces uh, by the kind support of uh, IFRC, Madat Fund, and uh, Norwegian uh, uh, Red Cross. Uh, we are providing resilience. We are providing cohesion between the Syrians and the uh, host community. Language courses we are providing. Occupational training courses, psychosocial support, we are providing. Is this enough? No. No. Till now, the Turkey, as the government and the, as the host community, spent 25 billion US dollars for our guests. It is halal for them. But, but it is really a huge burden for us. We, the international community have to share this burden. We are young population. We have 80 million population, half of them less than 30. Every year, we have to create job opportunities for 1 million additional uh, candidates, besides the, our guests. The liberal market, even informally, creating the job opportunities for all. The Turkish growing rate, more than 5%, Alhamdulillah. But, but we, need, we need more support for sustainable, sustainable uh, development for the livelihood and the labor market for the Syrian guests. Beside these uh, efforts, we are providing international, uh, international humanitarian assistance cross-border inside, for inside Syria. Daily we are, as Turkish Red Crescent, we are sending 150 trucks into uh, Syria. We are taking care of over 4.5 million Syrian IDPs inside Syria. Every day we are sending 100 tons of flour, and we are cooking breads and, and delivering every day to the Syrian refugees, Syrian IDPs inside Syria. But it is not enough for protection, it is not enough for their dignity, so uh, we need holistic approach. We need security, fair security policies from the international communities. We need fair humanitarian assistance and sustainable assistance for IDPs and refugees, and we need development and rebuilding approach for the future of Syria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for those remarks, and um, I'd just like to say we.